to this latest video. In this video I am going to give you a review of the NGCA Grip Days uh, which were held last week at uh, NVIDIA's brand new HQ in Santa Clara, California. Uh, I'm going to show you around in, the, in their uh, uh, newest building um, and I'm going to give you a, well, an impression of what the, the Grip Days uh, actually are. Enjoy watching! I'm here with John Finale, who is the uh, vice president for uh, the vGPU product, and uh, we're here at the, the Grid Days 2018 in um, uh, the Endeavor Building in Santa Clara. Um, and John, what, what, uh, how was the, the, the Grid Days uh, until so far for you? What's, what's your opinion on it? So uh, the grid days have been fantastic. They've been uh, intense. So at times it seems like it's been a long time. You guys have only been here for two and a half days. But the amount of information we've covered, uh, the amount of information you guys have shared with us um, regarding customers, around product requirements, and quite frankly, things we could do better, it's been fantastic. Right. So what, what was your main goal for uh, this version of the, the grid days? Um, the goal is, you know, kind of consistent with the NGCA program. But we just get to do more of it in person and share more, which is really to connect with the people that are out in the field. Um, you know, so many times on a product team, you you think you know what you're doing, or you think, well, you know what customers want, and you make decisions, and and sometimes those decisions can be wrong. And so the decisions need to be informed. Um, and you guys are a great representation of not only users and advocates, uh, but also the end customer. Right. And so getting your feedback on, on what's working and what's not working um, is really the goal. Right. Um, well, maybe one final question. You guys sure. um, uh, moved towards this awesome building a couple yes. of months ago. So uh, how did it change uh, the way you, you work at NVIDIA currently? Uh, sure. So it's awesome. If you guys can't see, maybe we'll do some candid shots to add in. But um, the building's called Endeavor. Right. So uh, it's, a one, it's an extremely large building. I think it holds about 2,500 uh, people. Wow. And uh, we actually knocked down four buildings to create this building. Really? And there are four more next door that are going to be knocked down, and we're going to have a twin. So really? there'll be two of them. Uh, we, of course, still have our main campus. The company continues to grow. Um, in terms of the, the building, the, it's really fascinating. Is it's all built using NVIDIA technology. So the architects used uh, uh, Quadro Virtual Data Center Workstation to, to, do, to design really? it. So you're uh, your on dog food, basically. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and uh, they use virtual reality. And so the, the building itself, we were able to walk through it and preview it before we actually built it. Right. Um, and we used AI and deep learning. So uh, as you can see, there's lots of glass and light in the building. Um, we actually ran AI simulations based on different times of the year and different dates of the year to look at the impact of the sun in terms of heating, cooling. So we wanted it to be bright and airy, but not become like a, you know, uh, an aquarium or, or yeah. a magnifying glass, right. right? So we actually made changes based on AI simulation and walking through and seeing how the lighting felt and how the, the impact to heating in the, in the environment as well. Wow. Whoa. So uh, so that's a cool building. Yeah. Uh, in terms of changing the way I work, it's just great because we have more people in one building. It's easier to collaborate and move around and see people. And so because uh, collaboration is one of the main goals of the building. I, uh, of I, course. I yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, cool. Well, uh, John, thanks so much. Sure. Uh, hope to see you next time at the at the, 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 the next grid days. Of course. Uh, or uh, GTC EMEA. GTC EMEA. Coward, who is the um, uh, product manager, technical product manager uh, for uh, GPU, and uh, Jared, well, basically is the owner, I would say, of the NGCA program. I'd, uh, yeah, I guess kind of the owner, more the uh, the lucky guy that gets to you know uh, 
support and be a part of the community as right. well. So. so what is the NGCA program? So the NGCA program is the NVIDIA GPU um, Community Advisors Group. So this is you know similar to some other programs in the industry like your Microsoft MVP, VExpert, Citrix CTP, um, CTA, all of those types of programs. This is our first kind of stride with um, moving into that space around really trying to reach out to the community, find significant leaders, thought leaders, um, and uh, you know hold monthly calls, have yearly get-togethers uh, at different conferences, things to ultimately get feedback from from that community. We look at it. Um, really is more of a feedback channel than anything. Right. Um, and uh, and I get the lucky guy that gets to kind of help facilitate that. Obviously it takes an army to deal with that. Right. But uh, I get to I get to handle it and, and address that community. Uh, right. Super so, lucky. So what's the, what's the main goal for you as, as an owner of the program for that community? So the main goal for, for us is for me to ensure that the other product managers within the grid, you know, software stack um, have got voices uh, within right. the community that that they understand that they can talk to partners that are engineering, deploying the different solutions. That they can talk to other product managers at times that are part of the community. So we've got you know people from uh, from Nutanix and VMware and Citrix that are part of this. So it's nice to have a different uh, unofficial kind of more social aspect where. Right we can get feedback of, is this product um, heading in the right direction? Um, tell us about the customers that are deploying things. Uh, a lot of it's around roadmaps, right? So we share early roadmaps and, and a lot of granularity and detail around that with our NGC advisors, and then they can tell us if we're you know, not heading in the right direction. Um, and they can help us kind of tailor that from a feedback perspective. So it's really valuable for, for, for NVIDIA to have this program. Cool. Um, from what I heard, there were a lot of applicants um, uh, this year for, for the 2018 class. Um, what should um, applicants do to be uh, to become part of the NGCA program? So this is a really good question. A, a lot of it is um, kind of keeping track of the things you're doing in the community, being active in the social community. One of the things that I would advise a lot of people to do is make sure that you are participating in um, your VMworlds, your Citrix Synergies, your user groups, and, and don't participate by just showing up. Participate by you know, volunteering to speak. Right. Um, and maybe it's, not, yeah, maybe it's not VMware at first, maybe it's like your E2E type conferences where right. it's a little less formal and those conferences are really there to provide feedback and maybe hone in your speaking skills. But uh, be a voice in the community and You'd be so surprised at, even though you may not think that you are as brilliant as some of the people that are around you, you oftentimes have a lot of great insight and things that you can teach people. Right. And, and definitely have that as an advocacy um, you know, that you're doing. Cool. Okay, well, uh, thanks for having us this year. Yeah. I'm, uh, we are truly honored, the whole group is. I, I'm positive of that. This was and, great. Uh, we'll definitely see you on a, a GTC or VMworld or Synergy. Yes, Trinity. we're looking forward to it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks.